All right guys, so we're gonna start off by mixing our lightener. This is the Paul Mitchell Skylight Balayage Lightener. I take two scoops of that, and then I um, add in three ounces of uh, 40 volume developer. Now, the directions say you could do uh, one to one, so one scoop to one ounce, or um, you could do one scoop to one and a half ounces, and I prefer that. I like it a little bit wetter, uh, the consistency, just so it, I get a, a little more even uh, spread on the hair. So what I'm gonna do is go through and section this off into four panels, just like beauty school. So this is very uh, familiar for a lot of people. So each panel goes right down center back and then right at the division point. And I just twist those up in a way to, to get them out of the way. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by taking diagonal back partings. Now the reason I do diagonal back is because I'm gonna be painting uh, heavily on the very front hairline. So what I wanna do is kind of blend that back into the back portion. So the brightest part's gonna be right around the face and then I taper it off towards the back of the section. Now the, th the key thing with balayage lightener, I've talked about it in past videos now, you want to make sure you get a really heavy saturation. Um, I think that that's where a lot of people go wrong is that they don't put enough of the lightener on. The lightener, because it's a clay base, it forms a shell around the, the section wherever you paint it on. And that shell is what incubates uh, the lightener and allows it to have that lift. So the outside part will dry up. Um, with a typical regular powder lightener, those will dry up um, all the way through. So that's why you don't get lift and why you get spottiness if you try to balayage with a regular lightener. So using the clay base, now as this section gets a little bit fatter, I like to create that V section, which you guys see on a lot of different balayage videos. It's a pretty standard way of painting hair. And I really wanted to fully saturate her hair. She wanted to be much brighter, much blonder. So um, as I go through, I create that V shape. Now, one thing that I want you guys to, to notice about about creating that V shape is you'll notice that it creates depth in that one part. So it's a little bit darker, you have that V. And then when I go and paint my next section, um, that's actually gonna fall over that V so it'll be nice and bright. So it's uh, you're basically creating a bright section and depth underneath and then another bright section and then depth underneath. And it just works out really well. It's a really natural look um, to create more blonde for your guests. Now. In the salon, this is something that we're gonna be doing a lot of now come March and April because of the fact that everybody wants their hair bright again for the summertime. So um, this is a great technique to brighten the front, but then also um, we're gonna go in and do a different technique in the very back to, to really give it more of a natural feel. Also, you guys know me, and I like to make sure that I, anything that I'm creating is salon friendly. It's a quicker technique. It's something you can do within a couple hours, um, which makes sense when you have a full book of clients. So as I go through here, I'm making the top, like I said, the front part really bright, but then in the back, it's gonna be a much quicker technique, something that you could do um, in the salon in the right amount of time also, so you're not painting the back and the front's getting too bright and then the back's not getting bright enough. It keeps everything nice and consistent. So notice I paint that V on and then the next section I take actually is gonna lay on top of that V so it keeps the brightness but keeps that depth underneath it. Now here's where um, we're gonna start doing the back portion of the head. It's a larger V shape. Um, the outside of the hair makes sense for it to be bright. The interior part of the hair makes sense for it to be a little bit darker. The ends of the hair should be bright though. If you think about where the sun hits the hair naturally, it's on the outside and on the ends. And the very inside it doesn't. So that's why I don't mind. I go through here, I paint it nice and heavy on the very outside of the section, but then in the very center, I'll leave it. Now, when I get to the mid part of head that's a way wider section so I don't want to leave all of that dark so I go through and just paint a nice soft line um, down the middle and then I blend it and paint all the way through the ends so you can see kind of how thick that lightener is that's really what it's all about you really want to just keep pasting it on there to get the brightest result you want uh, you're trying to achieve <laughs> easy for me to say So notice how I'm, I'm keeping like almost creating two different V shapes on the back there. 
Now this is the last section on the very top. This one you really want to cater to the fact that it's going to be seen. So I want to paint not just a V on the top here, but I'm going to paint kind of through all that as well. I start off painting the V, but then I go through and I'll paint all the way up to the top. So notice how that V shape's kind of closing in, and now I'm going to feather uh, a middle line just in there because that's where her hair is going to spread. That's the crown of the head, so you want to make sure everything is saturated. So there you go. That's the finished result. You can see that I painted much heavier in the front, much lighter in the bottom, and then heavy on the top. So then we go through and we use the Minerva processor uh, to brighten up that blonde a little bit more. I let that sit under there for about 25 minutes. And you can see the lift that we were able to achieve using that Skylight Lightener. So now I'm going to go in with a product called Flash Finish, Pale Neutral. Um, the cool thing about this product is it's a flash finish toner, which basically means it's going to tone quickly. Um, but I'm not really looking to neutralize anything. I'm just looking to put a finish over top of it. So um, you mix that ratio one to one. So I do one ounce of Flash Finish, Pale Neutral to one ounce five volume developer. Um, I rinse out her hair, I shampoo it, and then I hit it with a towel dry. And the reason you towel dry before you put a toner on is because of the fact that if you have silk and wet hair, you put a toner over top of it, it's going to dilute the toner. So you towel dry it, get the moisture out of the hair, and then you can go through and add that toner over top. Now I chose the pale neutral because I'm just trying to soften the blonde. We created this really light yellow blonde on her hair. So I just want to go through, soften it, blend all the tones together. To me, a lot of people will highlight and then they don't tone. You have to tone to really finish the canvas. Bleach isn't a color, so you don't want to lift the hair up and leave it the way that it is. Go in, tone it, get everything uh, uniform, looking nice, and flash finish is a great way to do that because you're going to do it quick. You can actually use this toner in five to ten minutes right at the sink. So now I'm going to finish it off. Um, we shampoo that out and then I use Forever Blonde Conditioner, add that protein in, keep the hair nice and healthy, and then we go through and we do our styling and finishing. Now, we're ending this video. This is going to be a quick style, but I want to show you guys this is the new Neuro Angle Iron um, that I showed in a couple past videos. It's cool because you can adjust it to get the right angle that you're looking for. Then I go in with the Neuro Protect. This is a heat protectant, so it keeps your hair nice and healthy when you're doing your iron work. also has a nice little hold to it. So I just go in and I give her hair a nice little wave curl. I already cut it, so you're going to see kind of the finished result. It'll be a little teaser for our upcoming vlog, which will be the cut that we did on on our model so uh, go through again just twisting the hair around to create the style and then finish it with the neuro finish spray uh, it's got a nice pretty firm hold to it i love the wave and the curl and the brightness of this blonde so here's the before and here is the after so you can see how much brightness came all over the head but you can also see that depth underneath it right in that middle part so it just kind of falls over it but it's nice and bright all the way through the outside got a nice smooth transition to it love the way that the skylight lifted it up let me know what you think in the comments below thanks